What's that? What's that way over there? That's Acacia baileyana, blooming in winter beautifully. Sorry about the wind. Look at that source of beautiful winter colour. Acacia baileyana, grown from a tube stock originally of course. Lovely. That's Acacia pedali riofolia, that one. So that was planted years ago. And look how beautifully it's still growing. Isn't it lovely, blooming in winter? Anyway, we've just bought some more tube stock of acacias. So let's go and have a look at them. Look, boxes of tube stock have just arrived for planting out on our estate. Lots of lovely trees, all for late winter spring planting, all drought resistant varieties. What have we got? We've got Pitosporum filioides, Acacia stenophylla, Acacia pendula, Acacia cultureformis and Acacia cardiophylla. Let's have a closer look at them anyway because they're all lovely and they're going to do very well here in years to come. And they're going to make the birds happy as well, aren't they? Well, look, this is our acacia pendula. We have lots of them and they do sucker. And uh, yes, I've just bought six acacia pendulas. Where are they? There they are, there's four of them. The acacia pendula are very drought resistant. They're a weeping tree. They have a nice weeping formation. And what's great about them is they kill the grass. You don't have to mow around an acacia pendula and uh, they'll attract birds of course they'll attract rosellas and parrots and uh, amazingly drought resistant and they will sucker so what, if you put one in you've got you've got a little forest basically because they'll spread over the decades they'll spread and you'll have more and more trees this is Pitosporum fili uh, Pitosporum filioides and uh, I know it attracts birds and it's um, an Aboriginal medicinal herb so I want more and more of them and I've got about half a dozen of them in tube stock now I'm going to plant them half a dozen Pitosporum uh, filioides here and we're, they're only small but Rome wasn't built in a day and they are extremely drought resistant once established and they will make the birds happy they will and they have beautiful orange yellow berries on them. These are smaller wattles, more bush sized wattles. They're acacia cultureformis. They're quite drought resistant once established. They don't mind a bit of extra water in summer though. They've got those nice little dinosaur like sort of uh, scales instead of leaves. And uh, yes, they look like the things on the back of a dinosaur, don't they? And um, they uh, have a beautiful golden flower. They're nicknamed Golden Glow sometimes. Lovely. They'll make the birds happy too, won't they? They will. Now these on the right are Acacia stenophylla. They're extremely drought resistant. They're, uh, oh, they're just like a gum tree really. They can uh, withstand terrible drought and heat. Acacia stenophylla, yes, very tough, very tough indeed. I've got half a dozen of those. And this is Acacia cardiophylla. I don't know how drought resistant it is, but I'll give it a go. I think it's drought resistant. It's also called Wyalong wattle. I don't know if they mean West Wyalong. If they mean West Wyalong, if it's named after West Wyalong, that's a very hot, dry place. Anyway. I've got all these couple of dozen plants to plant out and they're going to be beautiful in years to come.
a lot of wattles only live about 10 years or so. So we've got to keep placing them periodically. Best to have new ones coming up and by the time the old ones uh, have to be pulled out or die of old age, you've got young, uh, young ones. Best to treat the place like a forest. See you again.